Today, I want to tell you about my experience with the new wave precision induction cooktop. The reason I was drawn to this is for two reasons. First, I do a lot of cooking, obviously. Sometimes I do it on the road and I have sort of a pop-up tent and I need to keep sauces and things warm. The other thing that's handy is when we host for the holidays, we need a couple extra burners. Sometimes you run out of room on the stove. This is the whole setup. It comes with instructions, obviously, but just take a look here at all the ways you can customize it, and it's identically the same on both sides. So let's start over here. Uh, you have your number pad to type in times and temps, but these presets are really what I have been using, right? Um, so you'll simply plug it in, and then we'll uh, go back here, and there's an on off button, okay? And then you'll see this light up, and then all you'll do is you'll hit what function you want. For example, we'll go medium high, that's 375. Or you can go max sear. I use that to sear steaks or boil. This boils water, by the way, faster than any other method I've found. And all you gotta do is hit start. It won't start heating up until you have a pot or a pan on it. Once you have the pan on it, it will heat up very quickly. 20 seconds in and we're already at 250 degrees. Let's do a max temp test. It's already smoking. We're at 500 in about a minute. All right, so we're over 600 already. It's been about three minutes and uh, that's about as high as I'm going to want to go, but you can get a wicked sear on any steak or piece of chicken at these temps. Now check this out. This is the cool thing. This is still at, where are we at? 541, let's take this off. It's still hot, but it's cooling down very quickly. Operation is so simple, and this thing's a powerhouse. You can see, it hits 600 degrees, no problem. Uh, but really, you can set the clock. You can make this thing a temporary sort of portable feature, but this is heavy duty. This is some serious business. You can plug this in. Uh, and leave it as more of a permanent space in your kitchen. This would be great for campers or, or things like that. And it's amazing how much power you get out of a three-prong standard outlet. Another great thing about this is you can really dial in your cooking. For example, I know when you make hollandaise sauce, you have to hit a very specific temperature. Now, when I use the flame on my gas oven, there's a lot of guessing involved and also using a thermometer, but this gets you much more dialed in because you know exactly what the heat is going into the pot or pan. Interestingly, the pot or pan that you use has to be induction ready, according to the instructions. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I made a few observations. So this pan, which is a, a little bit lighter weight, still hot from my test before, uh, you can see has this type of a base, worked flawlessly every time. But this pan, which has more of a curved bottom and it's more solid and heavy, did not work. I got an error message when I put it on there. So that's one caveat. Make sure you're using the induction ready cookware. So overall, I would call this a home run. Uh, this is the finest cooktop I have tested so far. Really, really nice, a lot of features, but heavy duty and easy to use are two really critical things. A lot of buttons that you can select from and a lot of ways to get to the temperature you desire. But this thing is great, whether you're taking it on the road, using it as extra burners, or a primary source of cooktop.